So Nebula was designed for NASA, so primarily for NASA scientists and researchers that need computing resources. Uh, NASA funds a lot of science, and a lot of the scientists end up uh, procuring uh, Linux boxes that they run under their desks, and so we have a lot of infrastructure uh, that uh, unfortunately is suboptimal, and um, so Nebula was designed to help NASA scientists that need to process a lot of data, process the data, and also share the data. Um, we also have thousands of websites, so every time uh, a scientist wants to collaborate, they'll typically put up a website, and uh, that environment is um, you know, expensive to maintain and expensive to secure, and uh, Nebula is designed to make it easier to uh, not only process the data in the lab, but also share the data on the web. So when I started as a CIO, one of the challenges we had uh, was uh, securing our perimeter. And we found that with thousands of websites out there, um, they were uh, targets. And uh, we wanted to build a platform uh, that would allow people to build web applications uh, that was more secure. And so as we started to look at how to do this, uh, we, we realized that um, by using a virtualization environment and by using a, a set of platform services upon which web apps could be built, um, we would provide a much more secure environment to build those web apps. And so Nebula started as a way to make it possible to build web applications a lot more quickly and a lot more securely. So right now um, it's expensive. Whenever you buy infrastructure and build infrastructure in the government, you have a lot of security policies you have to comply with. So what, what our hope is, is that by providing infrastructure as a service and platform as a service uh, within NASA, and potentially within other agencies, uh, we're going to make it possible for more of the money to be spent on science and research and less money to be spent on, spent on building web applications and infrastructure. So we've started with a few pilot projects within NASA and the initial pilot projects have involved uh, large data sets or data sets that have extreme interest to the public. Uh, one of the projects that we're really excited about is um, putting all the Mars and Moon data on the web. Mm -hmm. And we've done some really, uh, really interesting work with Microsoft to take the raw images coming down from the Mars High Rise Orbiter on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the uh, LROC instrument on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. We're going to be processing all of those images and in real time, as they're publicly released, rebuilding the entire base map, similar to what Google does with Google Earth. So as we started to work on the platform, uh, we found that uh, there, there were a few um, aspects that uh, were resonating with the scientific community. One is that it was, was open source. Uh, and then as we've seen more and more commercial companies get into the space and provide platform as a service and infrastructure as a service, um, there has been a conversation within the government about standards and the need for standards, interoperability, portability, uh, security, all driving those conversations around standards. And so with, with Nebula, what we've been able to do is adopt standards within the environment and also push standards. So as, as standards begin to form in certain areas, uh, because Nebula is open source, we're able to focus on uh, selecting uh, platform elements that, that are standards oriented. What we've tried to do is we've tried to focus on building components that are standards oriented that are open source. And the hope is that NASA can build a community around each of these components and by leveraging open source components um, do less and less of the work inside this agency. So as we build we're releasing with open source. We have an open source release agreement called the NASA Open Source Agreement. We also have just completed, uh, which is the first in the federal government, an open source contributor agreement. So as code is written in the community, we can reincorporate that back into Nebula. So our, our hope is to bundle all of the different components in Nebula and then release them as an open source package that other agencies can implement. And if other agencies can implement, they'll hopefully contribute to the code and we'll create a virtuous cycle of contribution. The administration and, and Vivek Kundra has asked agencies to look at pilot projects. And I think that that's critical because if you look at uh, what we're doing with Nebula, if you look at what Amazon's doing with EC2, what Microsoft's doing with Azure, uh, what Google's doing with their framework, Salesforce.com, each of these cloud environments, whether they're infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, has very different characteristics. And if you have projects within your agency, uh, you need to look carefully at each of these environments before deciding which of them is most suitable for your project. And you're only going to gain experience by doing pilots and by experimenting with the technology. So I think it's critical 
uh, this year uh, that you focus on pilot projects and on focusing on building a competency within your organization so that you can understand uh, how to procure cloud, how to incorporate cloud into your processes, and how to integrate cloud into the various products and services that you need to support your organization.